we have seen that in right triangles we can apply the pythagoras theorem what does the pythagoras theorem say well the pythagoras theorem says that in a right angle triangle the side that is opposite to the right angle this is the hypotenuse by pythagoras we can say that hypotenuse square which is c square would be equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides or the other two perpendicular sides so a and b are the perpendicular sides so if you sum the squares of these perpendicular sides then this should be equal to the square of the hypotenuse so c square would be equal to a square plus b square now let's look at this these are the petronas twin towers and they were once the tallest building in the world now let us try to find right triangles here so if i zoom this image what you can see is that there is a sky bridge that is connecting these two towers so a sky bridge is being connected by a support beam which is supported at the center so these two beams are actually forming right triangles so this beam in each of these right triangles is actually the hypotenuse so we can apply pythagoras theorem to find the length of the beam that was needed to support this support bridge so let us find that by taking some random easy numbers so let's say that this sky bridge was actually 16 meters and since the beam is supported at the center this would be 8 and 8 let's say that the beam was supported 15 meters vertically down from the sky bridge so you have this 15 8 and this is the beam now i can use pythagoras theorem to find the length of this beam let's say the length of the beam is l let's say the length of the beam is l so how can we apply pythagoras theorem this is a right angle triangle with hypotenuse l so hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides the other two sides which are perpendicular are 8 and 15 so this would be equal to 8 square plus 15 square so i can say l square would be equal to 8 square is 64 Plus fifteen square is two hundred and twenty-five. So I get that L square would be sixty-four plus two twenty-five, which is two eighty-nine. So taking square roots, I get L would be now negative square root can be neglected. Why? because we want to find the length of this beam and the length will always be positive so i can ignore this negative under root here so length would be under root 289 so length is equal to square root of 289 is 17 so since this is 15 meters vertically down length would be 17 meters you can see so the length of the beam is 17 meters which is found using pythagoras theorem now pythagoras theorem is unique in such a way that it has been proved over the years by many different ways in fact there is a book called pythagorean proposition that contains almost 367 different proofs so now let us try to prove this theorem using whatever we have studied so far so let us try to prove the pythagoras theorem which says that in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse hypotenuse here is ac square of the hypotenuse would be equal to sum of squares of the other two sides which is ab square plus bc square so what we are given is a right triangle so i have a right triangle here with b as 90 degrees this is what is given to me what do i want to prove that the hypotenuse square hypotenuse which is ac opposite to the right angle ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square the sum of squares of the other two sides so this is what i want to prove what do i do first draw a perpendicular from b 
so draw a perpendicular from b and let's call this point as d so what i do is i draw a perpendicular bd so bd is perpendicular to ac now let us look at the triangle adb and this bigger triangle abc so now let's look at this green triangle here and this bigger triangle abc what do you see abc is 90 degrees and adb is also 90 degrees so i can say that both these angles adb is equal to abc both of them are 90 degrees so this is done also you will see that in both these triangles abc and this triangle adb angle a is common this is being shared by both the triangles so i can say that angle a is equal to angle a it is common so two angles in these triangles i get two corresponding angles equal what can i say when two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of the other triangle i can say that the triangles are similar so i can say that the triangles are similar by angle angle criterion once i know that triangles are similar i can say corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are proportional since the corresponding sides are proportional ad by ab ad by ab would be equal to ab by ac i can say this ad by ab is equal to ab by ac so this is what i get now if i cross multiply i would get ab into ab which is ab square would be equal to ad into ac so ab into ab ab square is equal to ad into ac so this is what i get so let's mark this number 1 now we've already found what ab square is the next thing would be to find bc square so we have we want to prove that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square and we know now let's look at earlier we looked at this triangle with the bigger triangle abc now let's let's look at this triangle which is bdc and the bigger triangle abc since bd was perpendicular to ac again angle bdc is 90 degrees also abc is 90 degree this angle is also 90 this is given to us so in these two triangles again c d b is equal to a b c both are 90 then both these triangles are sharing angle c this triangle has angle c then abc also has angle c so angle c is common to both of them so i can say that angle c is equal to angle c because it is common now once two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of the other triangle i can say that these two triangles are similar by angle angle criterion now again once i have two triangles to be similar i can say that the corresponding sides are proportional and the corresponding angles are also equal since the corresponding sides are proportional let's look at the corresponding sides dc by bc is equal to bc by ac so this is what i get dc by bc would be equal to bc by ac so dc by bc is equal to bc by ac now if i cross multiply what would i get if i cross multiply bc into bc would be bc square this would be equal to dc into ac so this is what i get now so i get bc square is ac into dc now let's call this number 2 so we found ab square we had already found what ab square was which was ad into ac and we know what bc square is 
what I need to prove is that AB square plus BC square is AC square. So let's add these two now. AB square plus BC square. So if I add these two, let's add these two. What do I get? AB square plus BC square would be equal to this plus this. This is AD into AC plus AC into DC. So what I do is I add 1 and 2 and adding them I get AB square plus BC square is equal to AD into AC plus AC into DC. Now you see that AC is common in both. So we can take AC outside. So if I take AC outside what will I get? If I take AC common outside, I will be left with AD plus DC. So this is what I am left with. Let's see. So taking AC outside, AD plus DC. Now what is AD plus DC? AD, this is AD plus DC. So I get AC. AD plus DC is equal to AC. So AB square plus BC square gives me AC into AD plus DC gives me AC again. So AC into AC is AC square. Hence I get AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. And this is what I wanted. That the hypotenuse square AC which is the hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides. Now let us look at the converse of this theorem. The converse also holds true. The converse says that if you have a right triangle, the converse says that if in a triangle AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, then the side, the angle that is opposite to this side, the first side would be a 90 degree angle. So that is angle opposite to AC which is angle B would be 90 degrees. So this is what I want to prove. That angle B would be 90 degrees. What I am given is that AC square is AB square plus BC square. So what do I do now? I will make another triangle. Let me make another triangle. Such that I call this triangle DEF such that AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF and DEF is 90 degrees. So I make a triangle in such a way that AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF and angle E is 90 degrees. Now since angle E is 90 degrees, I know this is a right angle triangle. If this is a right angle triangle, I can apply Pythagoras theorem here. So by Pythagoras theorem, I can say that DE square plus EF square, that is the sum of squares of the perpendicular side, would be equal to the hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse is DF, so that would be equal to DF square. Let's look at this now. So what I do is, since it's a right angle triangle, I can say DE square plus EF square would be DF square. DF is the hypotenuse. Side opposite to the 90 degree angle, hypotenuse here. Now I know this. Further I know that DE is equal to AB. So DE is equal to AB. So rather than DE square, I can write AB square. Plus EF is equal to BC. So I can write BC square here. That comes out to be equal to DF square. So I get this. But what are we given? That AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Here we have AB square plus BC square is equal to DF square. So this should also be equal to AC square. Since this is equal to AC square, I can say AC square would be equal to DF square. Now again, if AC square is equal to DF square, I can say that AC is equal to DF. 
So I can say AC is equal to DF. So in these two triangles, I find that all three sides are equal. So in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, in these two triangles, AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF and AC is equal to DF. All the three sides are equal. These two are equal by construction and this we just proved. So all these three sides are equal. When three sides are equal, three sides of one triangle equal to three sides of the other triangle, I can say that the two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So by SSS, I say that these two triangles are congruent. Now if these two triangles are congruent, then all the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides are equal. Corresponding sides are already equal. So the corresponding angles should be equal. That means angle E would be equal to angle B. Angle B should be equal to angle E. So if angle B is equal to angle E by CPCT, I can say this. Now angle E is already 90 degrees. So I can say that angle B would also be 90 degrees. So angle B is equal to angle E which is 90 degrees. So this is what I wanted to prove. That angle B is 90 degrees. Therefore ABC, since angle B is 90 degrees, I can say that ABC is a right angle triangle. So if AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, I can say that that would always be a right triangle. 